on here is a new segment that, well, it's, um, god damn it. I don't want to say new segment. Because I do a lot of those. Ugh! Welcome to the first edition of Space Barks. Space Barks is going to be when I discuss my views on certain topics as not as angry as Pepper does because why? <laughs> but yeah, um, there has been some drama lately going on with the Chicago Furs and I want to point out that this isn't the first time that I've seen this happen, but it's the first time I've seen it happen with the Chicago Furs, where there was a collaboration between a group of people to set up a fur bowl meet, and somebody over the age of 50 or 60, I'm not sure, decided that everybody's stealing it, everybody's lying, uh, and he starts threatening the well-being of a few people especially a suitor that I will keep nameless. Uh, well, no, her name is Lilac Shevsky. She's super cool. Well, he is super cool. I'm so sorry. He is super cool and um, yeah. Well, this guy, first off, I'm 32 this year. I'm a gray muzzle of the community, uh, and I understand that calling myself a gray muzzle also comes with responsibilities. Responsibilities meaning you have to uphold the standards of the. the you are people. You are the. T you are the person that p new people come to, and uh, look forward to talking to and getting to know and they just need help but when you act out and you lash out when you get angry people see that and then they judge all the other gray muzzles as a whole I don't appreciate that this guy's lashing out at Lilac saying racist comments telling that him that he's Sick, uh, that they are sicking people on him and they're gonna hurt him and and stuff like this. Why would you do that? Oh no, they stole a fur meat. Uh, they didn't even steal the fur meat from you. You just decided to be a jerk. And now he's off lying and stuff like that. I don't really know, mo uh, know all of this situation, but as what I've seen as an outside source, and going to this person's uh, Facebook, they are legitimately not acting their age. They need to grow the fuck up and deal with it properly because they're making every one of us, every other one of us, look fucking bad. God damn it. My mother, uh, sorry about that. <sighs> but anyways, you, you, I don't think he understands that he's not just voicing his opinion. He's ruining it for everybody else that is in that same bracket of age. I, as a person, I get angry at things. I get angry at logical things. I would never get angry if I helped set up a Fermi and then people started calling your ass, calling my ass out on my nasty behavior. I would never go out of my way and threaten somebody's life, threaten their well-being and the well-being of their partner and the well-being of all of the staff of that fur bowl. There's no need for that. The fr and then posting on your Facebook, well, to me, meats are fun and social events and nothing else. I'm sitting here like, 
bitch, you're the one that's making all the drama. All that they're doing is calling your ass out on things publicly because you're a racist prick. You're a jerk and an immature fool for actually going ahead and thinking it's okay to lamb bash people. It's okay to privately message them and tell them to go back to the jungle. Cause racism to me is such an old fashioned thought process and it really needs to be gone. Who gives a fuck what color you are underneath the costume or really anywhere? Who gives a fuck? Unless you're you should only care if the person isn't a decent person. And from what I've seen, Lilac's a fucking great person. This is Lilac and Shevsky in Chicago. Yeah. But, I mean, what do I know? I'm not part of that community. I'm on the other side of the damn country, and I'm just giving, this, giving my opinions. And you know what? Opinions are just that. They're opinions, but I know I can derive my opinions from facts. Hey, everybody. This has been another space. This has been a Space Barks episode. I will see you later. Space out, peoples. See you later, cowboys.